right? I'm not coming back. Go. <laughs> We are now officially Mongolians. <laughs> I have no idea how to, what, what this place is, but yeah, we got changed into the traditional Mongolian clothing. I managed to get one on a board! <laughs> wow! <laughs> so close to the bullseye! We are inside a Mongolian hut now. Now we are gonna have some traditional Mongolian milk tea. Wow, there is tea. This is sweet. Sweet. Ah, you can eat it. You can eat it. You can eat it. Drink it. You can eat it. Can you drink it? Okay. 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 Feeding some cows. Mo Mongolian outfit, Gucci bag, feeding <laughs> cows. Yes, that's the dream. That's the dream. Hello. Hey. You choose one. Two. 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 <laughs> Once they are done, they know that we have no more milk and they all walk away. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, li hai, li hai, li hai. So that was a pretty fun experience. Now we're having dinner somewhere off the highway. Seems like this is a pretty popular restaurant. There are tons of cars parked in front. <laughs> That block there is the restaurant that we were just dining at and then a short walk out and that's our room. This is our room. Okay, our grassland hotel for the night. <laughs> So is it, it's day five, day five of our trip. It's now nine ish in the nine, morning. Nine, yeah. Nine thirty, maybe almost ten, and we are at Hasar Horse Riding Grassland. Everything is in Chinese. All the places, the names are all in Chinese, so I'm trying my best to translate them. Right in front is the stable with all the horses. And this is where we will be riding the horses. Kenneth is riding on his own. I'm too scared to ride on my own, so I got a guide. <laughs> What are those animals up there? Are those also cows? Are, are they? Into the unknown Hey, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was amazing Yeah, but now my knees are aching <laughs> From being so tense on the horse And now we're off to somewhere else <laughs> uh, I have no idea where. Perhaps I'll let you know when we get along there. Along the Russian border, so <laughs> yeah, we have to switch off. Yeah, but we are about to drive right by the Russian border, so mm -hmm. to prevent us from catching the Russian signal, we have to switch off our phones, and we have to do that because now it's still like COVID period, right? So the Chinese government tracks our whereabouts based on our GPS, and if we if our phone if our phones pick 
pick up the Russian signal, they might think that we were in Russia and we might be denied uh, the flight back to Shanghai. This is the closest we can get to overseas travels this year. Across this fencing is Russia. So that right there is Russia. So our trip has taken a very interesting turn. Our driver has decided to hand over the wheel to Kenneth. And the worst thing is that we are really driving by the Russian border now. But we have to switch on our phones to navigate to the next place. So can only pray that we don't capture the Russian signal <laughs> and then get stuck in Inner Mongolia. Okay, update. We made it! Fucking made it. Now we are in the town of Lingjiang, another bordering town to Russia. So yeah, I mean it's a small rural town. It's all like farmhouses. This is where we are staying. Our hotel looks like the most yeah. <laughs> Day 6 of our trip and the car is still ours. Our guy was supposed to come and pick us up in the morning. Come to think of it, not sure how he was going to do that easy. since the car was with us. Now we're at some deer park to see some deer. Deers. Hey deer. our hotel the last place we're gonna stay for our entire inner mongolia trip okay hotel checked in and our driver brought us to this barbecue skewers place that he strongly mm. recommends although he just us. dished us here again yeah. <laughs> so set of our skewers are here and it's our it's last our day. last day in Inner Mongolia. We have been in the, the grasslands for seven days now. Seven days is a good enough time for city kids to be out in the wild, <laughs> in the wilderness. <laughs> can't wait to be going back home today. And I can't wait to see my dog. On the road, we're going to the last grassland of our trip now. And then we're heading to the airport. Perhaps because it's the last grassland before going home, that's why I'm so excited. We're having hot pot for our last meal in Inner Mongolia And we're having traditional Mongolian hot pot So the hot pot is actually just plain water uh, Ginger, red dates, there's ginger here Red dates and there's like uh, onions and wolf berries and some dried shrimp So this is just to give the water some flavour
Ah, 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 We're now at the airport, just checked in for our flight. So this is the end of our Mongolia, Inner Mongolia trip. The end of our October holidays. And also the end of my vlog. And that's it. 